Okay, question is asked of me. Uh, am I making all of this stuff up? Is it all just coming out of my head? Um, yeah, yeah, that's right. Now, I'm making it all up. I made it all up, see, because I'm really good at stuff like that, see. Because what I, here's what I did, all right? Here's what I did, I'm going to tell you. What I did was I went back like 2,000 years, right? And I rounded up all of the apostles and Paul, you know, and, and all the, you know, leading Christians and everything at the time. And I said, hey, look, man, we're going to play this practical joke, uh, you know, uh, on these people here. What we're going to do, right, is uh, we're going to put all these patterns in here, these consistent patterns in the, uh, in the New Testament. And um, see... And none of it's going to mean anything, but 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 it's all gonna it's all gonna look like it means something after two thousand years, because uh, see after two thousand years everybody's point of view will have shifted, um, uh, such that uh, the whole idea of the two thousand years, the two thousand pigs, and everything um, will resonate and will make sense to them, right? But uh, yeah, don't tell anybody this joke. For 2,000 years, right? Because um, it's going to be really, really funny when it finally does get told. See, see what it is. I'm the world's greatest prankster, right? I make, I make Harry Houdini look like an amateur, man. <laughs> man, what can I tell you? You know, I, there's nothing that is going to convince you. This is, you know, I mean, really. How am I going to convince you of anything? I mean, I'm just appealing to people and their sense of reason and their sense of observation. You know, I'm only trying to show the way. I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to be, you know, uh, some kind of cult figure or whatever. You know, I just, I just want to put this information out there. It's like I've always said, you know. I just, I study, and I learn, and I think, and I reflect, you know, really just for myself. And, uh, you know, after thinking and reflecting and looking, and I think, wow, this stuff really bears on, you know, uh, the world. This is really important stuff. And so, you know, uh, given a venue like YouTube or, you know, the Internet or whatever, you know, I just, I, I just share what I've learned. I just share what I know. You know, I'm not trying to propagandize the world. I would like to know how I could be making this stuff up. You know, uh, before before you go pointing the finger and saying this is all coming off of my head, right? Well, why don't you go and show me where, like, uh, there's a there's a real big logical inconsistency or something, or or where the whole thing breaks down? Because I've been thinking about it for 20 years now. And uh, I haven't really seen where it fundamentally breaks down, you know. I mean, I'm just a, I'm just a regular guy like anybody else. I'm every bit as fallible as anybody else, you know. I don't claim infallibility. I'm just, you know, I'm just out there thinking like everybody else. I'm just out there studying like everybody else, you know. And uh, if I sometimes come across as... Uh, maybe a little harsh or uh, judgmental or whatever it's because there's something that I have realized that I believe very strongly I have very strong feelings about the truth I've never thought of myself as being virtuous enough to stand out there as a paragon of virtue I've never thought of myself as educated enough to stand out as some sort of you know great mind in this world you know I have never thought of myself as worthy enough to uh, to bring such a message to the world. I've never thought any of these things of myself. How could I? I have no credentials whatsoever. But again, the thing about it is, at the end, right, Jesus really makes a point out of this. It's like, who did he send to do a job versus who did it? right oh yeah i'll do the job and then you don't do it right and then the other guy's like well you know i don't really want to go i'm not gonna go but then he thought about it later and he decided he would go and he would do the job 
you know I didn't start out at any any church I wasn't raised up as a Christian I wasn't brought up within Christian thought at all if anything I had an anti-Christian background uh, that that was heavily atheistic uh, highly skeptical you know and quite frankly uh, irreverent um, you know I, I'm not uh, I'm not uh, I'm not like the kind of person who would have ever thought that that you would come across these things, right? But having come across them, what do I do? Do I just like sit on them? Do I do I just like, you know? I mean, the way that these things come to me is through sharing them. The way that I learn is through teaching. You know, the way that I grow is that I have to have a purpose. What is the point of God teaching me something if I don't teach others? You know, and he's just wasting his time and energy on me. His his goal is to redeem us from an evil and wicked world. And I'm waiting for the church to do this. When At what point is the church going to emerge unspotted on its own? It, it, it has had 2,000 years. I would venture to say that at this point, the church might just need a little bit of help. You know? And maybe, just maybe, God has sent someone to help. Maybe, just maybe, God has sent someone to comfort the church. He, he talks about a latter rain. He talks about a comforter. He talks about how Enoch and Elijah, well, it's implied in Revelation, I will say, that Enoch and Elijah are to come. Um, so, I mean, it, it's just, it, when does this happen, you know? I mean, uh, why do you think that this is going on? Why do you think that for 2,000 years, you keep saying everybody's thought of this, everybody's talked about this, blah, 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 sounds like the Gnostics. Well, you know what? If there were people in the early church who were saying what I'm saying now, right, what does that say about the people who killed them? What does that say about the people who put them to death? You know, how many of us are going to be killed? How many of us are going to be put to death? Are you going to stand there like Paul? You know, and, and judge us and watch us die for our beliefs if it comes to that? Because we will, you know? There, there are people out there still willing to do that. There are people out there for whom to sell out to the world in a fundamental way like the church does is repugnant and repulsive and disgusting, you know? And some of us just won't do it.